George Conway Trump post on Harris crowd size delusional conservative attorney George Conway on Monday lambasted former President Trump as a deeply psychologically disturbed individual. After he accused Vice President Harris's campaign of using artificial intelligence to fabricate the large crowds at her rallies. As I've been yammering about for five or six years now, he's a deeply unwell man. He is a deeply psychologically disturbed individual. If he were a member of your family, you'd be taking him, you'd be staging an intervention and taking him into a psychiatric hospital, Conway said Monday on MSNBC's Morning Joe. Calling Trump's claims about the rally sizes and other recent actions his final implosion, Conway compared the former president to Nazi dictator Adolf Hitler during the days leading up to Germany's defeat in World War II, when he reportedly moved around non-existent military units from his bunker. He is, as I've been saying, a narcissistic sociopath, a pathological narcissist and a sociopath as defined by the American Psychiatric Association, Conway said. These are, historians will tell you, the traits of authoritarian dictators throughout history. And what we're seeing now is, as you put it, an implosion. This, I believe, is what ultimately was always going to happen. The final implosion of Donald Trump. He has completely lost it. This post is beyond question, delusional, Conway added later. But it was also inevitable because what's happening here is he realizes, he realizes he's, under more pressure than ever, because he's not just running for the presidency, he's running for his freedom. He's going to jail if he does not win the presidency. Conway, a staunch citric of Trump, was reacting to the former president's Sunday Truth Social post in which he called Harris a cheater. Has anyone noticed that Kamala cheated at the airport? There was nobody at the plane, and she AI. D it, and showed a massive crowd of so-called followers, but they didn't exist. Trump wrote Sunday. She was turned in by a maintenance worker at the airport when he noticed the fake crowd picture, but there was nobody there, later confirmed by the reflection of the mirror-like finish on the vice presidential plane. She's a cheater. She had nobody waiting, and the crowd looked like 10,000 people. Same thing is happening with her fake crowds at her speeches, he continued. Trump then urged that Harris be disqualified from running altogether, as he claimed the photo of the crowd was fake and thus election interference. Trump did not provide any evidence of the alleged fabrication, posting a screenshot from a user on the social platform X who claimed the Harris campaign was busted for a fake photo. In a community note on X, readers noted that the rally, which was live-streamed, was attended by thousands, as seen in user videos, pictures, and the stream itself. The Hill reached out to the Trump campaign for further comment. Harris's campaign fired back at Trump on social media Sunday. 1. This is an actual photo of a 15,000-person crowd for Harris Walls in Michigan, the Kamala HQ account wrote on X responding to a screenshot of Trump's post attacking Harris's fake crowd. 2. Trump has still not campaigned in a swing state in over a week. Low energy? Since President Biden dropped out of the race and endorsed Harris in late July, she has energized the party's base and seen a surge in the polls against Trump. Her rallies drew thousands of attendees last week, which the campaign touted against Trump, who has long looked to crowd size as a measure of support.